Hey, Paul here for Retro Gaming Arts, and today we're going to be replacing the laser on a TurboGrafx CD. And we're going to be getting our laser from a Sony Discman, model D33. You can find out the model on the bottom, and compatible models that will have a donor laser are right there on the left. And you can use any one of those, pull the laser from it, and pop it in your TurboGrafx CD. So, let's start. So you pretty much just, any screw you see, just pull them out. And then right here on the bottom, there's a grounding point for the bottom of the TurboGrafx CD. I'll show you a better angle of that because now we're moving on to the ribbon cable. That's the first ribbon cable you're gonna have to remove. And I found with these, you don't actually have to pull off the whole top connector of the ribbon cable. You can just slide it up and then pull the ribbon cable out. You don't have to fully remove it. And there's an additional ribbon cable and then that is the grounding point that I was talking about. It makes your life a little easier if you just desolder that so you don't have the bottom piece hanging around following you everywhere you go. So this particular ribbon cable, there wasn't as much room to get it from what, this angle. So I actually put it down on its side and I went to get it out from the inside and I'll show you that right here. So this is how I went to get this ribbon cable out. And like I said, you could have probably just pulled the ribbon cable out. You don't need to take this plastic piece entirely off like I did. You could probably just slide the ribbon cable out, but you had to wiggle it because they're kind of stuck. So now that you have the ribbon cables out, let's get back to the back of the assembly. We're gonna take these screws out so we can have access to the bottom of the, uh, the whole laser assembly. And I'm gonna be going back and forth between this one and the Disman. So I'll label them in the top right. And I found that if you open up the TurboGrafx CD like so, it makes it easier for it to come out. So here's the disc man. Like I said, any screws you see, just, just take them out. And then after you take out the screws of the disc man, get rid of the wires, and then uh, you'll move it over, and then you'll see the same ribbon cables and this, practically the same laser assembly. So you're gonna wanna remove these ribbon cables just like you just did on the TurboGrafx. Uh, CD and then after you remove those you're gonna have the same three screws to take out it's, it's so awesome how similar it's the exact same laser like KS the KSS 220A it's the same laser so like I said the exact same three screws you're pretty much just doing the steps twice doing it to the disc man and to the turbo graphic CD and for any time that you're if you're skipping back and through because you're actually doing this um, I label what I'm working on on the top right. So if it's disc man or what, it'll say it in the top right because they can be uh, very similar looking. So now I'm taking off the screws to get off this top metal plate and we're just going to remove that so we can have full access to the laser. Now the, the laser assembly on the disc man is a little bit different than the turbo graphics. So in order to remove this laser it's going to be a little bit different but the principle is the same. There's a ribbon cable just like that. You need to remove that ribbon cable. And then here we're gonna go and we're gonna just get the TurboGrafx CD to the same point that the disc man is at. So we're gonna take off these top screws and we're gonna take off, we're gonna get them at the same point. And just look at, look at the laser. Look how similar, the laser is exactly the same. It's everything else that's a little bit different. So now we have our disc man, and now we're going to be removing it. And the way you get the laser assembly out of this is there's two screws right here, and that's for the gear track. So once we take those two screws out, we'll be able to remove the gear track, and then we need to remove the, um, the metal bar that holds, holds it on. And for this, you just move up this black little clip, and then that gives you access to pull the bar out. So you just move the clip, slide the bar out, and now you have the laser assembly. The only thing is it's still attached by the ribbon cable. Now on these particular ribbon cables, it has a plastic piece that's holding it in place. And I found if you wedge something uh, parallel with the ribbon cable to wedge open the plastic piece, you can then slide up the ribbon cable very easily without damaging, without damaging it. So there you go, boom. A brand new laser for a TurboGrafx CD right there from inside of a disc man let's pop it in the turbo graphics cd now well that's what we're gonna do so 
Here we have the TurboGrafx CD. Let's get the laser out. There's two screws and three of them are hidden. So we're gonna take off the first screw that's visible, because it's the visible one. And then what we're gonna do is we need to drop the motor assembly, but first we're gonna just remove this ribbon cable. Remember it had a very similar thing on the disc man. And it's also, this one's kind of like sticky tape to the bottom. And then this one also has a piece of uh, adhesive paper to it as well. And this one's kind of wrapped around in a funny pattern. So we're just gonna remove those ribbon cables and then we're gonna get to these screws. So what you gotta do is you gotta kind of move the motor around till you can see the screws through the hole. Unscrew those screws and then you'll be able to drop the motor out. And then once you drop the motor out, it'll give you access to the second screw for the rod. And then that's how you'll be able to slide out, slide out the laser assembly. And then there's one more thing that you need to do on the laser assembly, which we're about to get to. So now that we have the motor out, we have access to this screw now. So we're gonna take that screw out, and boom, we're about to have our we're about to have our laser out. And there is one more thing. On the on the ribbon cable for the TurboGrafx CD, there is a grounding strip. And in the video, I desolder the grounding strip, but what you need to do is it's a sticker. You need to remove the grounding strip. As you see, I'm removing the um, the rod right now, and I'll show you the grounding strip once I get there. The grounding strip is is on the ribbon cable right there, and uh, I'm actually going to desolder it, like I said. But all you need to do just peel it off. Just you don't have to desolder it. Just peel it off, and then use its stickiness to reapply it to the new one in the same spot, the same location. That's all you need to do. And now we're gonna swap a piece from the actual laser assembly. So the, the little piece that holds you into the gears is right here on the bottom right. And we're gonna take the screws off of that and we're gonna move that piece to the disc man's laser. And that piece will go clip in. It'll clip into the gears on the TurboGrafx CD drive and then you can put everything back together. And so I'm not gonna show the full-fledged doing everything backwards, showing you exactly how to put it all back together. Instead, I'm just gonna point out the key things that you're gonna need to know to put it all back together because just from you taking it apart, your memory will tell you how to put this whole thing back together. And so here's tip number one. When you, in order to get that rod back in, you need to put it on the gear track first and then you need to pull it upwards towards you in order to be able to slide the rod in place. And then you screw the rod in place, you screw the motors all back in place, and then you, um, you just put the whole thing back together. And don't forget about that grounding strip where you peel it off of the TurboGrafx uh, CD laser and you put it on the Discman laser. That's very important, you need to do that. So now here I am putting it all back together. I'm gonna to give you a couple few more little tips about when you put the ribbon cables back in, the orientation of where they go matters. You can't just put them back in any way, so I'll let you know which, what's the orientation. For this ribbon cable, the shiny side faces into the console, the first ribbon cable, and the second ribbon cable, the wider one, the shiny side faces away from the console. So those, that's what you'll need to know. And uh, so now I'm just gonna put this whole thing back together. Thank you very, very much for watching. If you have any questions, comment, email me, hit me up on Facebook, anything like that. Thank you guys very, very much for watching. Thanks for watching all our other videos, supporting the website, everything like that. And I'll see you guys next time.